Hey what's up guys, I'm at here and today we have the S70 Max smartwatch. The smartwatch comes with many features inside it and it also comes with a torch light. In this video we're gonna be checking out all of its features but before we start, if you're new here, a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So let's get right into it and find out everything in the S70 Max smartwatch. So first of all, let's find out what comes inside the box. So on the top, we have the S70 Max smartwatch. Then if you lift this up, we get the 22mm silicone straps inside it. Then we have the wireless charger. And in the end, we have the user manual to get you started with the smartwatch. So here is the first look on the smartwatch. And here is how it's looking with the stainless steel straps. So first of all, we have a 1.62 inches IPS display. And overall, the fluidity of the smartwatch is looking good. If you use the flashlight application, then here is a look at the screen size excluding the external bezels it is using a full screen display after that it is advertised to come with a zinc alloy body on top we have five buttons on the body on this side the upper one is a rotatable key you can use it to change the watch faces and you can also use it for scrolling it can also be used as a back key and to access the menu after that the lower button can be used to turn on the screen of tile or to turn on the display then on the left side first of all we have the light button yes it does come with a flashlight which can actually come in really handy in the dark then here here is the back or return key and the last button on the body is the sport modes button in the settings we have the key customization option where you can customize the click as well as the double click function this customization is only for the sports mode button the other buttons cannot be customized then on the back side we have the wireless charging and health sensors and here we have the 22 millimeter straps area and you can easily remove these straps using this pin and it is compatible with all of the 22 millimeter straps including the ones available in the box and here is how the smartwatch looks on the wrist with both of the straps it's giving a formal look with the stainless steel straps and a sporty look with the silicone straps the processor is said to be 8763 vp talking about waterproof i wouldn't recommend you to use it directly in water while it can be used normally while washing hands or in rainy days so before we move forward let's take a look at all of the languages supported by it It supports very few languages and these were all of the languages supported by it. It comes with many watch faces inside it and all of them are perfectly designed to suit the style of this watch. If you go to settings and here scroll down, we have the time option. You can set the date and time directly on it and you can also select the time format. It supports both 12 hour as well as 24 hours clock format. It uses the HD Fit Pro application. Here first of all we have the watch faces. So the dial market contains a lot of watch faces and all of them are available for totally free you can also choose your own picture from the gallery as a watch face by going to the custom section here we have the picture dial option and the album dial option in album dial you can choose multiple pictures and after setting them as a watch face you can tap on the display to simply change the picture if we talk about customization options we have the font color we only have two colors then we have the time positions we only have three time position options you cannot freely move the content on the watch face then we have the remote camera option if we talk about the screen time then in settings we have screen timeout it has maximum time of 60 seconds or you can use the normally on option using the normally on option the display can stay on forever until the battery dies other than that we also have the screen of dial option here and if you check out its time it also has the normally on option and the screen of dial can also stay on forever until the battery dies the smartwatch also comes with the palm gesture to turn off the display and it also has the raise to wake gesture to turn on the display then if you talk about the home screen we have the control center it has a lot of options here here we have the widgets page from right to left we have the quick access applications and from bottom to top we have the notifications then it also comes with many menu styles inside it you can double click the upper key to change the menu style some of the menu styles also have the crown key movement while in other menu styles you can use the crown key to scroll and in this honeycomb menu style you can use the crown key to access an application after that we have the sounds and vibration option we also have the vibration intensity option here and after that you can also add a passcode in the smartwatch and now let's go ahead and talk about the watch application it uses the the HD Fit Pro application then we have the remote camera option using this option you can directly click pictures using the smartwatch by just tapping on it we also get the find device option here and in the smartwatch we also have the find phone option using which you can easily find your phone then we have reminders so here we have the call reminder no just reminder we also get bluetooth calling here we can simply tap on this icon to enable it once bluetooth calling is enabled you can simply access the phone application and call a number directly from the smartwatch and you can also receive calls directly on it it also shows the name of the caller without 
without syncing the contacts you can tap here to accept the call here we have the sound adjustment then we have the mute option and in the end you can hang up the call from here the smartwatch also comes with gesture control by which you can simply accept the call by performing this gesture after that using bluetooth calling you can also access the voice assistant directly on it expect partly cloudy skies today daytime temperatures will hover around 39 degrees with overnight lows around 28 and the volume level is quite clear and loud enough to be heard properly and then we have health reminders and after that we have the sms and the application reminders here we have the other option which means it can send you the notifications for almost all of the applications on your smartphone when you receive a new notification it wakes up the display and shows a banner prompt the banners are also interactive if we talk about longer notifications it does not support scrolling and it also does not support emojis then in other settings you can also customize the units the time format and you can also turn on automatic heart rate monitoring you can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch and add up to eight commonly used contacts using the business card option you can save the qr codes of these applications and using the wallet option you can save the qr codes of these payment applications and after that you can access these applications directly from the smartwatch and anyone can scan that qr code to directly access your social profile or to directly pay you you can also use the smartwatch as an nfc access card not just that using the apple shortcuts application i can also confirm that the smartwatch can be used as an nfc tag in the end you can also connect the smartwatch with apple health and here we have the navigation option but maybe it is not available worldwide and i'm not able to use it in pakistan so once the smartwatch is connected with the application you can also push weather updates here it is showing the weather right now the high and lows of the current day and also the weather for the upcoming days after that a lot of people use these smartwatches for music control so with the bluetooth calling enabled if i try to use it it shifts the sound to the smartwatch and if I turn off Bluetooth calling then if I try to control the media playing on the device it doesn't shift the sound to the smartwatch and continues to play the file on the smartphone and in my opinion it's clear to have both of the options in the smartwatch and now it is time to take a look at the rest of the applications so first of all we have the pedometer and as far as I've checked the pedometer is working absolutely fine and the steps it tracked was not because of the hand movement I was holding the smartwatch still in my hands while I was testing the pedometer then we get the heart rate blood pressure and blood oxygen level checker and after that we also have temperature as well as blood sugar level checker so if we use any of them with the straps at the back so the sensors have stopped working and it has given the error please wear the watch which means that it has proximity sensor as well as weight detection and currently I've placed my fingers at the back because of which the sensors have started to work after that we have a lot of sport modes inside it then we have the sleep tracker here it also has pressure calculator as well as breathe training and you can also customize the speed as well as the time in the breathe training here we have the MET data then we have the women's health application so if you want to use this application you will have to set up your profile in the HD fit pro application in the stopwatch application you can tap here to start and then tap here to add laps as far as I've checked you can add as many laps as you want if I try to go back you cannot quit while the stopwatch is running and if you end the stopwatch and then tap here it does not open the laps which means that you can only take a look at the last two laps you can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch so let's set an alarm you can also repeat it so let's turn it on and here's how the alarm is shown it only vibrates and here we have the stop and the remind later or snooze option we also get the calculator application with the basic functionalities like multiplication division subtraction and addition here we have the calendar application you can also use the crown key to move the calendar to the upcoming or the previous months here we have the compass application if you're using it for the first time you will have to calibrate it we also get a few games inside it we have 2048 asuka and sokoban and in the end we have the barometric altimeter which shows the barometer and the altimeter data but for it to show the correct values you will have to connect your smartwatch with the smartphone and these were all of the applications in the s70 max other than that in the control center we get the applications like the video controller then we have the flashlight we have the wallet and the alipay option and in the end if we talk about the battery life then it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 420 million pair hours which can be charged using the wireless charger provided in the box so on standby the smartwatch can give you a maximum of seven to eight hours with the screen of tile enabled it is because it does not have amulet display and drains battery continuously while you are using it or even if you have it on the wrist and if you check out the drainage during the video then it loses one percent battery every four to five minutes and this was all from the s70 max smartwatch so guys this was all from today's video and from the s70 max smartwatch 
Overall, the smartwatch is looking quite good. The body and the straps quality is quite good. The battery timing is also fine considering it has an IPS display. It also comes with the always on display option for the watch face as well as for the screen of dial. In my opinion, the only thing missing in this smartwatch is an AMOLED display. With an AMOLED display, it would have been perfect since it also has wear detection and proximity sensor for the sports mode lovers. Still, if you would like to place an order, I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and I would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch. For more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I will catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.